Mew is back with some more Scum and Violet. And last time we got our starter, this time we are just about to go and learn how to catch Pokemon. Which way do we go? In this way somewhere. Go for a wander. We'll find them. We'll find them. Is that... Oh, you can actually climb over those things. That's cool. Pumpkins. That's something. Oh! That's an interesting way to find stuff. <laughs> I like it. Give me a while to work this thing out. Do I? You need to head. This looks interesting on the map, actually. Get there. Nice little bit of exploring in the meantime, too. I feel like I'm going around in circles, aren't I? Direction. What signs that say Capapoco? Need to go that way. There we go. Found the Mina. Poco path. Le chonk. Something else as well. Yep. Exactly. Right, Pokeballs. Lechonk! Straight into battle. Catching tutorial is ourselves catching a Pokemon. Let's just use pound to weaken it first. <coughs> One more pound and then I'll throw a Pokeball. Pokeball time. We have six Pokeballs. We are going to... Catch a Lechonk! The first Pokemon we catch in this game is a Lechonk! Ooh! Interesting. What happened there? Pokedex data added for Lechonk. Yes, we will give Lechonk a nickname.
Hmm. What do we want to call it? It's reminding me... No, I'm trying to... I'm just going to call it Chonk. Chonky, yeah. Simple yet effective. Chonke. Our first capture. There we go. <clears throat> More Pokeballs. Good. Yep. Well, you already know that. Alrighty then, this, they give us a lot of tutorial information. Lechonk here, into the lighthouse. Another item. We keep finding Pokeballs. Another little chunk. We seem to be in an area with little chunks. We will battle these little chunks and get some training in as well. <clears throat> There we go, the chunk is down. Nice. The thing is, these little chunk here is going to be used for something in like making teams, I think. Let's see how much damage Pan does. Now there's something I know over there. There's a hop up. Little chunk is leveled up. Battling. We'll just battle our way. Catch a few Pokemon today. It's very interesting battle mechanics. Pep. What robes do you have, Hopper? I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to. Oh, wait, I can actually just have the X button and actually just use a Pokeball that way. The X button and Straight capture to hop up. Something tells me it only knows splash though. <clears throat> Pokedex updated.
I'm going to name this Fluff. And I keep doing that where it's like I go to nickname it and end up closing out of the thing. Check summary. Let's go back and change the nickname. Tapping too fast. It's cool that you're actually able to nickname on the go. Yeah. And the reason I named this Fluff is because one of the one of my mates did sort a of thing that does Twitch and stuff, and also it evolves into Jump Fluff. So Jump Fluff, Fluff. Pretty much. Close enough. <laughs> what are you? You're a spider thingy. Oh, let's tackle it. Can battle. Okay. I'm going to send in my hop up name Fluff. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Yeah, probably, I keep realizing I can actually hit the X button for it, but may as well just go, yep, easy capture. Level up fluff, tail whip. Bag. Enough to deflect the sides of Cypher. Hmm. I just want to name it Taro. That makes it easy. Mm. Pokedex updated. And... Lechonk, you are guarding that Pokeball, aren't you? Let's... Make sure you get out the way, and we can... can end up... Super Potion. Nice. Onward. Delete that little chunk. Back here, so it's that way we must go. What's that thing? It's another item. Another potion. Probably should heal in a moment, but there's another item ball. I really like the sound it makes to actually the item. Hello, other little chunk. Hmm. I heard the bird. Where is it? Hopefully nearby. 
That's another Taro, isn't it? Yep, that's another Tarantula. <coughs> Tarantula, you string shot. <coughs> Jonke leveled up. Ooh, at the disarming voice. That's good. What's next? Another lead chunk? Who's that one? Did you flee? Oh. No, oh, I wanted to encounter it and I got into the light house cutscene. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. <clears throat> mm hmm. Find the source of the mysterious cry. Not the bird I was looking for, but. Make the flock fly away. We can take Fletchling as our team member. At the moment it's not a fire type until it evolves, so capturing this Fletchling will make a good addition to the team. Boogable go. I'm naming this chirp. Okay. We are naming you chirp. Easy. There we go, chirp. Normally calm, but when it is battle, it becomes aggressive. That's cool. We've got the Fletchling registered. We'll battle this one to make sure that we can have a bit more experience as well. I think I need to use some potions in a moment. Yeah. Yep, definitely need to use potions. Mm hmm. I'm gonna remember the auto heal. I'm gonna go into the bag. I'll learn about the auto heal again because I'm about to forget again. Auto heal was. Yes, the minus button. I'm going to try this auto heal thing. That was not the one I was expecting. Check out the Pokedex. Let's go auto heal. Auto heal. Oh, wait. No. Unless I select the Pokemon, that's going to be going Pokedex for some reason. Okay, that's fine. Still a bit to get used to for this game. Let's use potions. The menu do it one by one though these days. That'd work. The sandwich. 
and use this item. Okay. I'll figure out sandwiches later. Oh, if I use that, I can find sort of thing. That is probably for communication with friends when it comes to that factor. That is interesting. Okay. You can hit this way later. Aoife. Potion. Lechonk. That is something. I think there's a scatter bug over there. I want to capture that scatter bug. Where'd you go, scatter bug? There. I'm just gonna have a poke, hang a pokeball at it. Should be an easy enough capture. There we go. Scatter bug, join the team. Flufflings, it's all good. Got a grass type move. I'm just going to call it Sket, uh, probably. Skitter, skitter. There we go, skitter. Interesting. There we go, we've got Scatterbug. Now we can keep following. This goes. Figuring it all out as we go along. That's a lot to do. Is that a Pokemon hanging on a tree? There's a camera app, too. Take the camera. You're probably looking at the rock. That's probably why. That's interesting. You take the picture. Tap the screen. Hmm. Why? 
Hmm. I'm gonna try and learn that camera stuff eventually. Come back, take a picture of that. Probably. Get myself down to where I need to go, I think. Where was the thing? Why me? In the grotto. Right. In fact, it's open world. There's a lot. A little bit more. There's poor me's around here somewhere, but I'll find poor me later. We're here, we keep going that way. I think that's the direction we go. Keep following the item trail. I've had to pull me! That wasn't planned. <laughs> okay. Let's catch that poor me. Tarot and struggle bug. And chip with quick attack. I'll call it Paul Paul. Only because it's simple, effective, and easy. For now, I'll send it to the box and I'll take a look at it later. You, yes, I know that. Yes, we know that. The captures have been on. Yep, we've been doing well with that. Revive, I can use it. It's not a Nuzlocke, I can use it. I have to say, just based on how I'm playing at the moment, I'm really glad I haven't Nuzlocked it because it's... Definitely an interesting concept with the way it's la laid out, even with just the first route. Here's another scatterbug. Let's leave that be. Where did it go? Let's go that way. Yeah. I think I found the right way now. <clears throat> we should have gone that way in the first place. Jump down. There it is. Go right on. Oh, 
Down we go. Road and phone. Road and phone has a levitate sort of option to save ourselves from when we fall. Yeah. That is something. What do we want to give it? We want to give it the sandwich? Will that help? <coughs> The sandwich works. Okay. It's connected us because of sandwich. Going on. Form change. I'm hitting on your way. Hmm. Into the cave it goes. Do I follow it? I think so. But I'll do that next time. Till then, Mew signing out. <laughs>